Today on Nerd Out, TPS versus EUTXO. Welcome back to Nerd Out, the show where we take a look at Cardano and we break it down, but we don't dumb it down. Today we are talking about transactions per second versus the extended UTXO model used on Cardano and Ergo and some other blockchains. Um, UTXO is used on Bitcoin and Cardano extends that by adding additional capabilities to that. So it's the extended UTXO. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So this, uh, this topic came about, there were several tweets this week, uh, Rick McCracken, who you all know is one of the geniuses of Cardano, and he created the EUTXO model, just kidding. Um, there was a news article that said he, he was the creator of it, and Charles was very pleased with that. Um, anyway, he, he had this tweet um, showing one of the, the drip drops transactions on Cardano, and it, it delivered um, three different users, 10 different tokens each, plus ADA and change, and we were only using 50% of the actual capacity that was the max capacity of a transaction. And Charles says, it's almost like it's a good thing. Um, then we had another tweet. This is um, doing some testing for Sunday Swap on the test net, and he noticed, or Atada noticed a monster block that actually had almost 300 transactions in a block. And these are two very different things, and they're both allowed on Cardano. So on this one over here, we had one very complex transaction. It's all just one transaction. And over here on the right, we had a ton of little simple transactions. And so we're talking about um, these models. So which is better, like having high transactions per second or is the EUTXO model? And well, first off, it's not that simple. It's, it's very much comparing apples to oranges. You have to have a common definition of what a transaction is. If you're comparing Cardano to some other blockchain or two other blockchains together, you have to really understand what does a transaction mean on that particular blockchain. It may just be as simple as moving an exact amount of change from one to the other. It may be like the EUTXO model, which is much more complex. So you have to, first of all, arrive at a common definition of what is a transaction or what counts as a transaction. So to describe the different types of transactions, a simple transaction in extended UTXO is like paying with a $5 bill and you get some change back. So, you know, I drive on down to the 7-Eleven, get myself an RC Cola, all I've got is a $5 bill and I get back some change. Um, a simple transaction in the account model, that's like going down and swiping a credit card and your account being debited by the exact amount that you needed. So there's, there's no change being paid or, or money exchanging hands. It's just you have an account, you have a balance, the balance goes down. A very complex transaction in EUTXO is like 10 frat boys digging through their pockets so they can together pay for a case of bush light then they figure out who gets what change, get, get that distributed back to each of them. And while this sounds bad, if you saw them actually pull this off in real life, you might be a little impressed. So let's talk about beyond TPS comparisons. What are some things that we can do to maybe compare these blockchains and transactions better? Maybe is there some type of definition of units of work, like how much work got done or maybe how much value got transferred. That's a little funny because you could have a transaction with a huge value, so maybe that's not a great thing. Anyway, I don't know the answer to this one, but I just wanted to keep the conversation going from Twitter onto here. Uh, what do you think? What are some ways that are, are good ways to compare blockchains, uh, transactions? Comment down below. And with that, nerd out. <laughs>